Cliff City's fam, what is up? It is Brad and Bobby about to go into the grocery store to do a video about food waste because 30% of the food we buy in this country ends up in the garbage. And that literally is over $100 billion of waste. And there's a lot of confusion among us consumers because you see different labels in the grocery store. Some say best buy date. When you see best buy, that purely means that's the best flavor and quality, but it's still good way beyond that. So I'm gonna show you what that means. Then there's a sell by date. Sell by is not for us. It's actually for the grocery store for their inventory system. So we're going to go around the grocery store and tell you exactly how long you can keep milk, eggs, dairy, bread, pasta, meat, chicken, all that stuff past the best buy day because I don't want you guys wasting your money and I don't want to uh, throw away perfectly good food. Uh, before we go into the grocery store, you know the drill, my friends. Like, subscribe, share. The only way the channel keeps growing is by you spreading that Flav City love. But I also want you to check out thrivemarket.com using my link down below in the description box. Thrive Market has everything you would get at any grocery store, but for cheaper. Typically, you save about $32 per average compared to going to the store and the box comes to your door. You never have to leave the house if you don't want to. Listen, they've been sponsoring the channel for six years and I got you guys a sweet promo code to try it out. Click my link down below. You get 25% off your entire first order. You get a free gift up to a $31 value and it's 30 days risk free. If you don't love Thrive Market, cancel, get your membership feedback, but I love Thrive Market. I want you guys to try them out because they're a great supporter. Okay, less talking, more shopping. Let's go in there and check out some sell by dates. Whatever you do, do not throw away your eggs by the use by date. You'll be doing yourself a huge disservice. Eggs, these are my favorite at the grocery store, will have a sell by date. This is April 22nd. All eggs are still good another four to five weeks after that. So you have plenty of time. Plus, you'll know an egg is bad if you crack it and it smells funky, but just keep in mind, that is not the expiration date. You still have another four to five weeks after that. For yogurt, you typically have two weeks after the sell-by date here. So this has April 20, so just under a month. But even after that, you have two weeks before it starts to really go bad. But once again, use your nose and smell it. But once you open this container, so if you buy it today and open it, I wouldn't go more than 10 days for that. And the same is true for uh, non-dairy yogurt. You still have a good two weeks after the sell-by date. And I believe some of these say like this, once opened, eat within seven days. So you can even go longer if there's no mold, but it's the same principle as dairy yogurt. It's never any fun throwing away the carton of milk, but to be honest, you have a pretty long time. So these are actually the best Bobby approved milks at the store. They're hundred percent grass fed and uh, whole milk is ideal, but this is a best by date of May 5th, which is a ton of time right now. It's March. What is it? 18th or something. And this, this is a little shorter here. This is April 26th. And this is April 7th. So obviously the first pointer is when you have the choice, look pretty deep. I wouldn't buy the April 7 one. I'm gonna buy the April 26 one. But here's the cool thing. Even at May 5th, you don't throw it away. If your jug is unopened, you're gonna have another seven days past that. If your milk is open, if you buy this today, what's today's date, Brad? Uh, March 25th. March 25th, hold on. You wanna get some milk? Go ahead. Talking about expiration dates. What's today's date? March 25th, like I was off by a few days. So if you buy this today, March 21st, you have until May 5th plus three days, May 8th, even if it's open. So open it today, it's gonna be good until May 8th plus two or three days after expiration. So you have plenty of time. Don't worry about it. If you want even more time with your milk, don't shop in here in the fridge section, go in the middle aisles. All right, over here is the shelf stable milk. And the reason why it's shelf stable is because it's pasteurized with ultra high temperature. If you go past bread over there, that's high temperature short time. And this makes it shelf stable because of the high heat. And because of that, look at this. This is good until September 2021. This is not my preferred milk, but in a like a zombie apocalypse situation, right? A walking dead situation, you might want to have some of this on hand and it beats the pants out of going bad in May when you have until September. Now for bread, you typically have about three to four days after the sell by date here. So this is four or three. I would go another four to five days. Uh, if you wanted to extend the shelf life, where would you put the bread? Would you put it in the fridge? You don't want to do that. If you actually put bread in the fridge, you make it go stale much quicker. That's what cold air does. So just keep it in a airtight container on the, uh, on the counter. 
But to be honest, even though I say three or four days, it's until the bread gets moldy. So if you have really good storage techniques, keep it until the bread gets visibly moldy and then toss it out. But in general, it's about three or four days after the best buy date. Let's talk about various forms of cheeses here, starting with cream cheese. Cream cheese is pretty cool because you have a long time before it goes bad. You can buy pretty much any cream cheese. And if you keep it unopened, you don't have to toss it out till June 24, but even past that, you could wait another two to three weeks. The thing is, once you open this, I would use it within 10 days. As soon as you start to see a little funky mold grow in there, it's bad, which is about 10 days. So that's really cool for cream cheese. We come over here for aged cheeses like cheddar, Swiss, and whatnot. Once again, because it's aged, you're gonna have a really long time. This guy here has a best buy date of July 12th. Even after that, you can probably stretch it unopened another four to six weeks. Once it's open, you'll have about, I'd say even two months. The cool thing with these kind of cheeses that are not soft, they're firm, even if you get a little bit of mold around here, cut that part off plus an extra half inch to an inch and save the rest. There's no need to waste it. If that starts to happen to soft cheeses like brie or goat cheese, you gotta throw away the whole thing. It only works for hard cheeses. And the cool thing about Parmesan, which I can't see right here, uh, Parmesan will last unopened another probably two to three months after the expiration date. And even after you open it, you're gonna get at least six to eight weeks out of there. And once again, if you get a little mold, cut it away. Save money, my friends, don't toss it. But bagels are the opposite, actually. Bagels will, number one, last you about five to seven days past their best buy date. But if you stash these in the refrigerator, they're gonna last you about 14 days. Uh, these are actually one of the better uh, Bobby uh, approved gluten-free bagels because they're made with uh, extra virgin olive oil. They do have a touch more sugar than I like, but regardless, all bagels, keep them in the fridge for an extra 14 days past the best buy date. Pasta has an incredibly long shelf life and do not throw it away when you go by the best buy date. For example, this says best buy 923. I would say you can go two, yes, two more years beyond that to the year 2025, as long as you store it in a cool, dark place. Uh, this is great to have on hand, uh, obviously for emergency situations. If it were me, I would go for the chickpea shells, gluten-free complex carbohydrate. I love these, I use them in the cookbook. And these are good until 22, but you can go another two years. So June of 2024 for this. Uh, of course, if you have fresh pasta, uh, you only have about seven days past the uh, best buy date for that. Canned food has an insanely long shelf life, but it gets even longer once you understand you don't have to throw it away. Even though this can of beans says best buy July 2022, you have another four years past that. So keep it on hand for the zombie apocalypse. Once again, uh, just make sure your cans, hello? Make sure your cans uh, are not dented or anything. That'll uh, hinder the, uh, the shelf life. Hello? Hello? Beef and chicken, both prepackaged and from the meat counter there. Here's the deal. If it's prepackaged beef, whether it's ground beef or steaks, you generally have only two days past the best buy. So by 4-7, I would either use it or freeze it. The same thing is true for prepackaged steaks down there. And for chicken, it's pretty much the same rules. You wanna cook it or freeze it by a couple days after the sell-by date. So by April 7th, you're gonna wanna cook this or freeze this. The cool thing is that some grocery stores, especially Walmart, when you get close to that sell-by date, they're gonna discount it heavily. I've seen some amazing deals there. And some people have preconceived notions that it's old, it's bad, I shouldn't use it. Of course you can. You have up until two days after that sell-by date. So take advantage of those savings and cook it or freeze it. Big, big money savings. But when it comes to the fresh chicken and fresh beef over in the butcher counter there, that's different. You have to use that or freeze it within two days after buying it. It's not the same as this stuff here. You have a long time for cereal past the best buy date on the box. For example, this is one of the new and best in class cereals at the store. This one says it's good until 10 of 2021. You have eight months after that for an unopened box. Still, once you open it, you still have another four to six months. Just keep in mind, anytime you open anything, you have to store it correctly. So something like this, you wanna keep it tightly closed in a non-human environment 
in the dark, not in the sunlight. Um, otherwise, it's not going to last as long. But you open this and still have another four to six months. That's great. Um, for oatmeal down yonder, you're going to have two years past this date right here. So it's a 2024, then unopened and stored properly. Uh, oats are going to last for you. But uh, once you cook these, I would only keep them in the fridge for two days. Otherwise, they go bad really quickly. But two years past, stored properly, either unopened or opened. That's awesome. Spices are very interesting. Let's find my favorite spice ever here. Smoked paprika. It'll say on here that it's best by date is 2023. And that's pretty darn accurate. But here's the deal. Spices, ground spices, start to lose their flavor after three months of being ground. So yes, it's still technically going to be good in 2023, but spices you want full flavor, right? You want the essential oils to be fresh. So I only buy enough for three months and then I'll buy more. And I don't know how long this is bidding on the shelf for, so I'll go to a spice shop where it's very fresh there and buy one or two ounces of this and one or two ounces of dried herbs like this. I wouldn't buy these. They're more expensive. You're paying for the glass. You don't know when they've been ground or bottled. Buy two ounces, find a local spice shop, and then buy again once you're out. Uh, when it comes to fresh produce or buying stuff that's pre-packaged in the fresh produce area, just use your senses. When it starts to smell bad or it gets slimy, it's usually uh, time to go. More importantly, I have a whole video how to wash and store your vegetables to uh, preserve their shelf life. So when this video is done, search on YouTube, Flav City Produce Washing. It's a great video with lots of tips. Uh, can I just say, Brad and I are drinking this amazing mushroom root beer. Check out the label here. It's super, super clean. It's made by the GTs. Oh my gosh, we're crushing this during this video. But uh, that is it, my friends. That is uh, how to navigate the grocery store when you see that dreaded sell by date, best by date, use by date. Don't freak out. Don't throw it out. I'll put all of my information down below in the description box. Look at Brad, so chivalrous. Um, that way you know for each one how long it's good after the use by date. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, it's super fun, right? Leave a comment down below. Uh, but for Brad, myself, Rose, Desi, Baba Dani, the whole crew, we leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace.